Hey y'all, I'm back from uh, the eye doctor with my daughter Farah, and yes, she needed glasses just like most of my children. I have 12 children and she will be number eight that wears glasses. And really, she probably will be number nine, but my one son that's um, handicapped, he's not able to get an eye exam. Even if he was, he wouldn't be able to keep the glasses on. It's just a whole nother thing. But I'm quite sure he needs glasses too. But it's a whole nother video. But anyway, so she'll be number eight that has glasses. Nine if you count me because I wear contacts. I had to get me some glasses. But anyway, so that's that. She found the cutest little aqua color glasses. And they should be here pretty soon. And she'll be able to see normally. But anyway, I'm back from HEB. If y'all saw the little short video I did earlier about the empty shelves. I've been watching video after video about people saying these stores have empty shelves. I saw it sporadically myself, but today I saw it face to face at HEB. The shell, and I didn't even go up and down the aisles. I just, you know, got my this little bit of stuff and came on out. But, um, you know, what I consider a little bit of stuff for my size family. But anyway... The shelves were empty. It's shocking. I mean, it's just, it's just showing that what they're saying is real. It's not clickbait. It's not something that they're making up for views. It's not something that's just, it's real. It's, and I'm right here in Cypress, Katy, Houston area. So that's how that goes in Texas. But anyway, that's how that goes. So, you know, I know you have to do what you can while you can, but um, stock up, start canning, start uh, freeze drying, dehydrating, whatever you have to do. But anyway, this is what I got from HEB. Uh, let's see. This brand of milk was all they had. And they only had a couple of these. I've never even heard of this brand of milk before. Park Manor, never heard of it, never seen it. This is the only one they had. And I started not to get milk because we had a half a jug of milk here and my children are in school all week. But I thought I better get it because the way the shelves are looking... By the weekend, it may not be any milk, and this doesn't expire till January the 15th. Okay, so I got my favorite juice in the whole wide world, raspberry lemonade. Couldn't find those at Walmart. They've been out. Finally got my HEB. This organic, uh, I don't, the, the organic thing, that, that, that doesn't move me, but this is the only one that they had, and I like this herb garden blend of salad mix because, if you can see, ingredients... It has the spring mix, but it also has herbs in it, which are parsley, uh, let's see, has red chard, red leaf, organic frisee, butter lettuce, spinach, oak leaf, uh, tango, I've never heard of that, okay, green leaf. But anyway, you can really taste the herbs in this. They must put quite a bit of parsley in it, and that's why I like it. You can really taste it. My daughter begged me to get this key lime pie-flavored yogurt. I don't like it. They love it. Some of them came out. It was like a four-pack, so some of them came out. So that's four of them, and then whatever, you know. So that's that. You can see my stuff I canned in the background. But anyway, I got these six lemon yogurts. My son is handicapped. The one that I was just talking about with the glasses. He will not eat ice cream under any circumstances. He cannot talk. He cannot communicate. So I don't know if the ice cream is too cold. I don't know if he just don't like the taste of it. I don't know what the deal is. But he will eat lemon yogurt. So I got him some lemon yogurt for a little treat for him. I got the kids this berry pineapple passion fruit juice. This is one of the few little juices they had. Never seen it. Never heard of it. Never had it. But his kids. So, you know. I'm quite sure they'll drink it up. I got this little small thing of vanilla yogurt. I got this one because it has um, live cultures in it. Where do you see that? Live active cultures. And this is just about what I need to make homemade yogurt in a crock pot. You know, you have to use this for a starter. And you only need a little bit. So this is what I got to make the yogurt in a crock pot. Um, I got these uh, pot stickers for my teenage daughter. I got these little soups for myself to eat for lunch. Mushroom bisque. I love mushrooms and anything associated with them. Chicken poblano corn chowder. Never had it, but it sounds delightful. And what is this I got? Zupa Toscana, because that's the closest I'm going to get to the Olive Garden right now because I'm on a 
low to no spend January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, all of 2022. I'm not spending a whole bunch of money on unnecessary junk. If I get a gift card to the Olive Garden or if somebody decides that they love me so much they won't take me out to lunch, that'll be fine. But other than that, not going. Okay, I got these uh, shrimp Alfredo. Another thing for me to eat for lunch. I got two of those. I got, um, so this will be enough lunch for six days. Uh, grilled salmon with lemon garlic cream sauce. Never got them before. Sounded tasty, so I thought I'd get it. Medium cheddar cheese, just something for us to snack on with some crackers. I got a bag of 50-50 uh, cheese blend. They only sell this at HEB. It's cheddar cheese and processed American cheese. I'm putting it in a broccoli cheese. Uh, what is that? Uh, Nor broccoli cheese rice that I'm cooking tonight. Parmesan cheese for the salad. And over here in the junk corner, I have these HEB pecan treasures. I have Oreo Thins, which are, you know, I these Oreo Thins, I, I don't know. I have to really pace myself with these things because, man, oh, my God, that's all I can say. And the Oreo Thins Lemon, same thing. It's like these things are just like, I don't know what. They just, they're just like, they just attract you. They just call your name in the middle of the night, you know. So, anyway, I got that. That's with the junk corner. And so anyway, this is um, everything. I think the total for this was, oh, golly, let me see. Farrah, bring my purse, sweetie pie. Y'all got to follow me into the kitchen because, like I said, I'm making this Nora Rice size. I got to turn this burner down a little bit and stir it. I definitely don't want it to stick. That's, this is what I'm going to put the cheese in to go with that um, roast that I cooked overnight in a crock pot. I'm going to actually move this off the burner for just a second. Sorry about the noise, y'all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just don't want this to stick. So I'm moving it off the burner. Just stir it up and let it cook for a second. I think my purse is over there in the chair, sweetie pie. Whew, hope I'm not making y'all dizzy with this video. Anyway, I think it came up to like $92 and some change, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, oh, I got these all night so I had to pay money for these for my son but anyway I, I it was $92 I, I feel pretty certain in saying that and um of course gotta be transparent this was a uh, EBT food stamp haul yeah it was that's how it goes so I ended up paying almost eight dollars out of pocket for the overnight pants but you know that's okay I thank God that I had the eight dollars to pay for it so anyway so this is this you know just something for my family and I to eat I thank God that we have food I thank God that he provided a way for us to buy food to eat and I'm praying that these shelves will get stocked back up before it's too late you know or that people would you know just get what they can while they can that's all I can say about it I don't even know what else to say because I'm literally in shock at how the shelves are just bare but anyway so this is my EBT food stamp haul. I think it was like, like I said, about $84, 92 altogether because I had to pay $8 cash for um, the overnight things, like the overnight pants or whatever. So that's that. And um, I pray that y'all can get out there and stock up the best way you can. I know it's tough on everybody. I know everybody is not, you know, able to do what they want to do sometimes but you know you just have to do what you can so anyway all right well y'all my kiddos will be home soon i'm trying to get this food heated up the roast and get this rice cooked and open a can of something green for them to eat and that's going to be that thanks so much bye <music>